Welcome to Owl Books, Chapter 3 of the book The One Thing Success Leaves Clues One Passion, One Skill Look Behind Any Story of Extraordinary Success and The One Thing Is Always There. It shows up in the life of any successful business and in the professional life of anyone successful. It also shows up around personal passions and skills. We each have passions and skills, but you'll see extraordinarily successful people with one intense emotion or one learned ability that shines through, defining them or driving them more than anything else. You must be single-minded. Drive for the one thing on which you have decided. General George S. Patton often, the line between passion and skill can be blurry. That's because they're almost always connected. Pat Matthews, one of America's great Impressionist painters, says he turned his passion for painting into a skill, and ultimately a profession, by simply painting one painting a day. Angelo Amorico, Italy's most successful tour guide, says he developed his skills and ultimately his business from his singular passion for his country and the deep desire to share it with others. This is the storyline for extraordinary success stories. Passion for something leads to disproportionate time practicing or working at it. That time spent eventually translates to skill, and when skill improves, results improve. Better results generally lead to more enjoyment, and more passion and more time is invested. It can be a virtuous cycle all the way to extraordinary results. Gilbert Tuhabonnier's one passion is running. Gilbert is an American long-distance runner born in Songa, Burundi, whose early love of track and field helped him win the Burundi National Championship in the men's 400 and 800 meters while only a junior in high school. This passion helped save his life. On October 21, 1993, members of the Hutu tribe invaded Gilbert's high school and captured the students of the Tutsi tribe those not immediately killed were beaten and burned alive in a nearby building. After nine hours buried beneath burning bodies, Gilbert managed to escape and outrun his captors to the safety of a nearby hospital. He was the lone survivor. Success demands singleness of purpose. Vince Lombardi he came to Texas and kept competing, honing his skills. Recruited by Abilene Christian University, Gilbert earned All-America honors six times. After graduation he moved to Austin, where by all accounts he is the most popular running coach in the city. To drill for water in Burundi, he co-founded the Gazelle Foundation, whose main fundraiser is, wait for it, run for the water, a sponsored run through the streets of Austin. Do you see the theme running through his life? From competitor to survivor, from college to career to charity, Gilbert Tuhabonnier's passion for running became a skill that led to a profession that opened up an opportunity to give back. The smile he greets fellow runners with on the trails around Austin's Lady Bird Lake symbolizes how one passion can become one skill, and together ignite and define an extraordinary life. The one thing shows up time and again in the lives of the successful because it's a fundamental truth. It showed up for me, and if you let it, it will show up for you. Applying the one thing to your work, and in your life, is the simplest and smartest thing you can do to propel yourself toward the success you want. One life if I had to choose only one example of someone who has harnessed the one thing to build an extraordinary life, it would be American businessman Bill Gates. Bill's one passion in high school was computers, which led him to develop one skill, computer programming. While in high school he met one person, Paul Allen, who gave him his first job and became his partner in forming Microsoft. This happened as the result of one letter they sent to one person, Ed Roberts, who changed their lives forever by giving them a shot at writing the code for one computer, the Altair 8800, and they needed only one shot. Microsoft began its life to do one thing, develop and sell basic interpreters for the Altair 8800, which eventually made Bill Gates the richest man in the world for 15 straight years. When he retired from Microsoft, Bill chose one person to replace him as CEO, Steve Ballmer, whom he met in college. 
By the way, Steve was Microsoft's 30th employee but the first business manager hired by Bill. And the story doesn't end there. Bill and Melinda Gates decided to put their wealth to work making a difference in the world. Guided by the belief that every life has equal value, they formed one foundation to do one thing, to tackle really tough problems like health and education. Since its inception, the majority of the foundation's grants have gone to one area, Bill and Melinda's Global Health Program. This ambitious program's one goal is to harness advances in science and technology to save lives in poor countries. To do this they eventually settled on one thing, stamp out infectious disease as a major cause of death in their lifetime. At some point in their journey, they made a decision to focus on one thing that would do this, vaccines. Bill explained the decision by saying, we had to choose what the most impactful thing to give would be. The magic tool of health intervention is vaccines, because they can be made inexpensively. A singular line of questioning led them down this one path when Melinda asked, where's the place you can have the biggest impact with the money? Bill and Melinda Gates are living proof of the power of the one thing. One thing the doors to the world have been flung wide open, and the view that's available is staggering. Through technology and innovation, opportunities abound and possibilities seem endless. As inspiring as this can be, it can be equally overwhelming. The unintended consequence of abundance is that we are bombarded with more information and choices in a day than our ancestors received in a lifetime. Harried and hurried, a nagging sense that we attempt too much and accomplish too little haunts our days. We sense intuitively that the path to more is through less, but the question is, where to begin? From all that life has to offer, how do you choose? How do you make the best decisions possible, experience life at an extraordinary level, and never look back? Live the one thing. What Curly knew, all successful people know. The one thing sits at the heart of success and is the starting point for achieving extraordinary results. Based on research and real-life experience, it's a big idea about success wrapped in a disarmingly simple package. Explaining it is easy, buying into it can be tough. So, before we can have a frank, heart-to-heart -heart discussion about how the one thing actually works, I want to openly discuss the myths and misinformation that keep us from accepting it. They are the lies of success. Once we banish these from our minds, we can take up the one thing with an open mind and a clear path. Thank you for watching.